Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. What if I told you Microsoft recently dropped a new feature that can automatically bring your crashed or BSOD hit PC back to life without your lifting a finger? Think about a scenario in your environment, multiple devices are experiencing a blue screen on death, also known as BSOD error, or crashing very frequently. And you want to fix these issues as quickly as possible. Until now, there was no solution to automatically remediate these problems without manual intervention. But now, Microsoft has introduced a new feature called Quick Machine Recovery starting from Windows 11 version 24H2. Quick Machine Recovery is a powerful feature that automatically detects, diagnoses, and resolves critical issues on your device. This feature is a game changer for Windows 11 devices facing a boot issue. With Quick Machine Recovery, if many devices can't start properly due to a big outage, Microsoft can send automatic fixes through Windows RE, this helps repair the device quickly and get user back to work without needing complicated manual steps. Now let's understand how quick machine recovery process works. So when a device fails to reboot repeatedly, the system automatically detects the issue and initiate the recovery process. The device boots into the recovery environment to initiate the quick machine recovery process. After a network connection is established, the device scan Windows update for remediation. In the fourth step, if no solution is found, the system retries the process based on the configured retry scan intervals and timeout. And if the solution is found, the system download and apply it. After a remediation is applied, the device reboots. And if the solution is successful, the device boots into Windows. And if the solution fails, the device reboot into the recovery environment and again follow the process where it starts from booting from the recovery, then check the network connection, and then it will try to find the remediation and apply the remediation and reboot the machine to check whether the solution is successful or not. Before we dive in, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos so right now i'm on my client machine and let's see how we can enable the quick machine recovery so one of the first prerequisite to enable the quick machine recovery is that you have to make sure that your device version is supported so let me run a command called Winver. So my machine is running on Windows 11 24 H2 and this is the build version. So this build version is basically corresponds to the August 2025 cumulative update. And if we go to the settings app and go to the system and if we scroll down and go to the recovery now you can see that we have an option called quick machine recovery we can configure these options from here also via manual process like we can configure the enable the quick machine recovery just by enabling this toggle we can configure continue searching if a solution is not found just we need to enable it and then we can also configure look for solution every then we have to configure some days and then we have to configure the retry every then we have to configure some of the settings. But we want to configure this using Intune portal. So before configuring this quick machine recovery option using Intune, let me show you how you can find this configuration using the command prompt. So you have to open the command prompt as an administrator. And now we can see that this is showing the recovery configuration cloud remediation is status is zero auto remediation is status is also zero 
total waiting time is 180 and the wait interval is 30. So when we are enabling these settings or configure via Intune, we will be able to see some modification in this output. So now let's configure these settings using the Intune. So we have to go to the Intune portal, then we have to go to the devices. And then we have to create a configuration profile. And then click on configuration. And then create a new policy. Platform is Windows 10 and later. And the profile type is setting catalog. And click on create. Now we have to provide the policy name. Let me provide the enable quick machine recovery. Same thing I am going to provide in the description also. Then we have to click on next. And then we have to add the setting. And then we have to search for a remote remediation. And in the remote remediation, we have to enable the cloud remediation. And within the enable auto remediation, there are a lot of options. But for now, we are going to disable some of the options. And I am only interested to configure set retry interval and the set time to reboot. Now in the set retry interval, you have to configure the retry interval in minutes. By default, it is 30, but you can change it to as per your requirement. And in set time to reboot, we have to configure the time in minutes. By default, it is configured for 180 minutes, but you can configure up to 72 hours. And in the enable auto remediation, make sure that you have a auto remediation enabled. And whenever you want to disable the auto remediation, you have to just enable disable this auto remediation. Same thing you can do with the cloud remediation also. You can enable the cloud remediation and you can disable the cloud remediation. And that's it. You have to do and then click on next and click on next. And then assign as per your requirement. For now, I am going to assign to all the devices because I am testing this in lab environment. But in your case, try to assign on a limited set of devices. You start with the internet test device first. Let me add all the devices and click on next and click on create. Now we have successfully created and assigned the enable quick recovery policy on test machine. So for speed up the process, let me go to the access worker school and run a sync so that machine will get the policy as soon as possible. Now, after some time, when I'm checking the policy status in Intune portal, I can see that the enable quick machine recovery policy is showing as not applicable. Looks like the setting catalog is not working as expected. So what we can do, we can create the same thing using the custom OMA URI. So let me quickly create this setting. So to do this, we have to go to the windows and then configure a policy and then click on create a new policy and then platform is windows 10 and later and policy type is template and within template we have to select the custom and within this we have to provide the policy name and then same i'm going to provide in the description and click on next and now we have to add the four csp so let me add one by one so let me follow the Microsoft documentation. So this is the documentation for quick machine recovery and we can see the CSP. First CSP we have to configure, configure remediation. So let me give the name called cloud remediation, description also cloud remediation. And this is the OMA URI. And the value is this and then value is true okay so this and this is true okay same way we have to add more policies now second policy auto remediation configuration so let me add one more and then this is the for my uri And then also it is this and then true. Click on OK. And the third policy is. Set time to reboot. OK. 
ओके लेट मी ऐड रिपोर्ट टाइम एंड दिस इज अ इंटीजर बाय डिफॉल्ट इज थर्टी ओके सो लेट मी क्लिक ऑन ऐड एंड दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन थर्टी टू एंड देन and add another policy and now click on next and then assign to all the devices or your scope devices and now let me or run the policy one more time to speed up the synchronization now after some time if we check the quick machine recovery option we can see that now this is configured using the custom oma uri we can see that some of the settings are managed by the organization and these settings are also enabled and grayed out let me run this script machine recovery option is now enabled on this machine whenever your machine is getting any blue dump error or any crashes then it will automatically try to fix it but in order to reproduce this error what we can do there is an option like we can see that we have an option called get recovery test mode so let me test this option and then you have to run a command called recoveryagent.exe/boot2re then when you are rebooting the device it will launch the recovery option now we can see that it started test mode diagnosing your pc and if it is not able to find any issue or if it's able to fix the issue you will able to log into the machine let me log in again and if the quick machine recovery is able to fix any issue we can see that so to do this we have to go to the settings and go to the windows update and in this windows update under under the update history we will not able to see any update related to quick machine recovery and if the quick machine recovery is able to fix any issue we will able to see any update related to quick machine recovery like in microsoft documentation we can see that we have an quick machine recovery update under quality update for windows 11 24h2 and in last we have to disable the test mode so to do this we have to open the command prompt again as an administrator let me run first command recovery agent or txt slash disable now operation completed successfully and then we have to run the second command clear recovery test mode and then we have to re enable the recovery agent now we can see that operation successful and in last if we go to the enjoin portal we can see that the enable quick machine recovery which we created as an oma uri is now showing as successfully applied so that's all i want to show you in this video i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video